I've been using the AstroTrack for a long time. I bought it before I had a proper mount and I recently started using it again since it's so much easier to set up and run. Usually I only load it up with a 50mm or 135mm lens, but this time I wanted to try something. How would it handle a really heavy lens? Could it actually take my Sigma 500mm? So I'm out here testing something a little bit crazy tonight. Um, I have never done it before, but I'm actually mounting my Sigma 500mm lens uh, with my Canon R6 on my AstroTrack. I use the Sigma 500 a lot for wildlife and birds, but it's a beast of a lens, weighing in at almost 3.5 kilos. So with the camera this would be over 4 kilos or 9 pounds. The AstroTrack is rated for up to 15 kilos of payload, about 33 pounds, but that is when balancing it with counterweights. This would just be straight up with a ball head and no counterweight. So as you can see I have Polaris centered in the reticule here of my Polar Finder on the AstroTrack, so I'm good to go. With just a tracker on a regular tripod and without balancing it with counterweights, I think this should be a bit on the heavy side. But I went ahead anyway and I tried it with 30 second exposures. Longer exposures than that would be pushing it too far I think. Now this will not be an editing tutorial. I might do a separate video on that later on, going through my typical workflow. But for this video I just made a very quick edit, skipping some of my usual steps. There are several other stacking softwares, some of which are free, but I find that PixInsight adds so much value to my editing and considering the cost of all my gear, this software was a reasonable expense for me. Here is a little tip I just wanted to mention. No stacking software is going to do a, a good job with bad subframes, so in PixInsight I like to use the function blink to sort out the bad frames. It could be frames with clouds or star trails or anything uh, that won't add any value to the stack. Here you set the time between each frame and you play it like a slideshow and in this case the first images are a bit too bright because well I started shooting before it was completely dark so I just removed those frames. Once I've looked through the overview to sort out frames with clouds and stuff like that I zoom in one to one to find frames with star trails or focus issues. And as you can see here, the AstroTrack did a really good job at tracking, despite the heavy load. There were actually no frames at all to remove due to stacking error this time. When it comes to stacking, there are a lot of parameters that can be considered, but here I just leave everything at default and choose Winsorized Sigma Clipping to remove noise and satellite tracks. Here you can see what's been rejected in the stacking process. Noise and hot pixels and satellite tracks. My final edits are made in Photoshop, but a lot of them could also be made in PixInsight. Uh, I just prefer the workflow of Photoshop. PixInsight is very complicated and it's got a quite steep learning curve, so I've been a bit lazy and I just took the easy way out and use PixInsight for what I can do and the rest I do in, in Photoshop. Some of the stuff I do here in Photoshop is corrections that are needed due to the lack of uh, calibration frames like flats. This time I only shot light frames to just test out the lens and see what can be done with the heavy lens and the AstroTrack. Yeah. 
So, how did it turn out? Well, if you ask me, not bad for only 32 minutes of exposure. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.